Hello and welcome to another tutorial video looking at Windows 2003 Server. Today we're going to look at roaming and mandatory profiles. Now profiles contain the information regarding the desktop settings, uh, for example the background, the icons, my documents folder, screensaver, that sort of thing, um, for the users of a Windows network. Now by default when a user logs on that these are kept locally on the client computer in the documents and settings folder. Now let's just have a look on this computer at the documents and settings folder. Here we are. And you can see here uh, is a folder that contains my profile and this is all the information. Every time I log in it drags this back and I get my desktop, my icons, my documents as well. Now if a user regularly switches computers then their profiles are going to be different on each client they log on to because uh, by default the clients don't share those profiles. Each client computer has their own documents and settings folder that contains the profile. Hence the need for a roaming profile that follows the user around on each of the client computers. So today what we're going to look at to start with is the roaming profile. So how to create roaming profiles. Now the first thing is um, being on the server computer is to create a folder uh, that the profiles are going to be stored in. Uh, so I'll go to my computer and the C drive and we've actually already got one here, a folder called profiles. Um, I've already set this one up and uh, it's actually shared as profiles. So this is the shared folder where all the profiles are actually going to live. I'll cancel that. Okay, let's go to Active Directory, Users and Computers and find a user. There's me, Toby. I'll go to the properties. Uh, so this shows the properties of the user Toby and in this tab here there's the profile tab and uh, what I'm going to do is type a path to the folder that we've created before the profile folder. So first of all we have to specify the server name which is LRC server 1 and the shared folder which is called profile and then I'm going to put my name in there. So this will be a folder within profiles that contains uh, all of my a profile and everywhere I go and log in it's actually going to go here and pick it up. Click apply, click OK. OK, uh, as simple as that. Uh, now there's a roaming profile. Everywhere I log in in the, the network, any client machine, it's going to go and uh, find that profile. Okay, uh, so the next thing uh, we're going to look at is mandatory profiles. Now this is where we uh, need an SOE, a standard operating environment. There's lots of uh, reasons we might want a standard operating environment. We want to, might want to lock the desktop so the users can't change the desktop. We might want to lock the, the icons so the users can't change the icons. Um, so really a mandatory profile is similar to a roaming profile except the users can't change it. Um, so that's what we're going to look at now, setting up mandatory profiles so users can log into client machines, they always get the same profile and even though they might change it, when they log off it doesn't save that profile. The first step um, is to create a profile folder. Now we've already done that, so uh, that's already done. The second step is to create a profile template, uh, one that will be used as the mandatory profile. So what I'm going to use is my user account here. I'm going to set it uh, and ch make some changes and then we're going to save that as, as a mandatory profile. So if what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly change the desktop um, for, oh, there we are, the first one, Ascent, very nice. Um, I think I might make a new shortcut. Uh, let's say uh, maybe a shortcut to uh, uh, an intranet website we might have running. Uh, and finish, I'll rename it company in, oops, intranet. Uh, there we go, I can even change the icon, change icon. Uh, let's have something, newspaper, there we go. Okay, so that's part of my, um, that's going to be part of my mandatory profile. Uh, now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to log off uh, and actually log in as uh, another user, another administrator to actually be able to uh, do things to this profile. So now I'm just going to log off um, and log back in as an administrator.
Okay, here I am as a, logged in as the administrator. Uh, now what I want to do is actually go and uh, find those profile details and actually go and save them in the profile folder. So I can go start. Uh, if I go to my computer, but don't uh, left click, if you right click on it, you can go down to properties of my computer. And uh, you can see there's several tabs. Uh, we want the advanced tab, which is this one here. And uh, user profiles. It says desktop settings related to your logon. I'm going to click settings. Uh, now what we can do um, is we can find um, my, this is the one that I actually made those changes to, okay, and there's uh, a little button here that says copy to. Okay, now this is what we want to do. We want to copy the local uh, profile to that mandatory, uh, so to that shared profile folder and then make it a mandatory profile. So I'm going to click copy to. Um, and it says copy profile to, and we're going to browse, we're going to go to the C drive, we're going to go down to that profiles um, folder, um, OK. Um, and I'm actually going to uh, call it MAND. Uh, uh, now this thing here, permitted to use, uh, let's hit change. Now what we want to do is we want everyone to be able to use it. So. Um, The everyone group, okay, very useful um, for Windows 2003 server. What we're doing is we're allowing everyone to use it, okay. Now this is the step that I always forget when I actually do this for real. I always forget clicking the permitted to use, and then wonder why only the person, in this case the Toby profile, can use it. Um, so we have to allow everyone to use it. Maybe you set up groups. Maybe you, if you want, you can set up uh, users and members of. Uh, groups and maybe then you can have permitted to use and have um, groups of people just using it but the everyone works fine I'm gonna click on OK and what it's doing now is it's copying those profiles there we are uh, into that um, into that folder click OK click OK let's go check my computer C drive profiles there we are manned Okay, and there's all the details. Okay, so that's almost at the end. Now the third step, okay, um, the most important step. At the moment, this profile is the same as a roaming profile. Okay, uh, the way to make it mandatory is to change this file, the ntuser.dat file. Now, if you can see, some of these are grayed out. That's because I've actually got um, the folder options. I'm showing hidden files and folders so that we can actually see some hidden files and folders. Uh, NTUser.dat is one of these hidden files. What we want to do is we actually want to rename it. Rename. And the dat at the end, we just want to change it to man. And what this means is that it's telling the client machines that actually you can't save the changes. So even though people might log in, they might make some changes to the desktop. When they log off again, it will try and save the profile back to this manned folder, but um, it says it's a mandatory profile. It won't allow it to change. Okay, so we set up the mandatory profile. The only and the last thing to do, Active Directory's users and computers. Here it comes. Is to then allow a user or tell a user that they have to use that mandatory profile profile. So for example, um, here's a, a user called Bob Test. Okay, this is just a test um, account. And we'll go to the properties and uh, oh it's already got uh, a profile. If I make it uh, manned, its profile path is now LRC server one profiles manned. Uh, I click apply. That means every time this person logs in they get that mandatory profile. Okay. Um, and they cannot change it. And that's it. Every user you want to use a mandatory profile, you can do this too. You can set up a number of mandatory profiles. Um, and that's what we've got uh, going on uh, in this test environment here. Uh, I hope that's uh, covered most of the important uh, points about this. And uh, I hope to see you uh, next time in another short video. Goodbye.